Alright, today I'm going to make another video. Yay. Uh, okay, so this one, we're just doing the yaw arm. We're not doing the, the roll arm or even the ribbon cable. Because this one's just bent, it's cracked. But, it's junk. Okay. So, you want to start off with the base here. I've done enough of these that uh, I don't really lay the screws out anymore, so I'm going to try really hard to do it for you guys. Just cause, Okay, so I, I put all the work into this sheet. It works really good. Um, you have to forgive me too, I, I just I just got up. This is, this is horrible. It's early. Alright. I had a question not too long ago, and I get the question every once in a while, is uh, it doesn't look like there's anything damaged. Is your kit going to fix my gimbal? Now, I can't say for sure on anything, but what I can say is what I've experienced. Oh, this just pops up and slides off. There's a bearing here that you'll want to pull off and set to the side as well. Oh. Okay, so what I can tell you is what I've seen, what I've experienced. And I, I really noticed that I, I never seem to find any electrical damage on these. Uh, it's always physical, visible damage. I can't get my set screw up. My set screw. And the things that are usually damaged, ribbon cable of course, um, Connectors broken off of boards. And I'm going to pull this sticky tape off of there carefully. Carefully, carefully flip the tabs up to release the cable. Don't bend them all the way back, just loose. Alright, and I'm going to pull the works off here. Okay, so what I usually see wrong with these is this little chip here that gets crushed. This one's been hit just a little bit, but it's just that that waterproofing paint or whatever they put on there that's damaged on the, the pros I've seen this chip here broken off um, and that's about it there's a little that's a magnet right there that goes around I've seen that broken when the arm gets pushed down onto it uh, and that's about it usually oh always check your fan on the on the pros, they get smacked into the bottom of the copter and that fan gets broken. So check those, blow into it, make sure it spins, make sure there's no edges twisted into the blades. And All right. So, all right, we got this off. We're good there. I'm gonna set that aside. More junk. Stupid fly. Okay. Now, take off this back cover. I've changed the design a bit over time to replace these three small screws. So we don't really need those. We take those and set them aside. Those seat screws, we don't need those. They they get replaced with longer ones. Uh, these ones, we, we still need these.
All right. This cover gets bent sometimes too. So you want to lay that on the table. If it's just a little bit bent, it's okay. Just a hair is okay, but much more than, you know, sliding a piece of paper under it, a couple edges of it is too much because what happens is uh, this we're replacing with plastic and if you got a bend in it when when you bolt it up it's gonna put a bend in the plastic and a bend in the circuit board too for that matter but then your your motor will rub here and bind up and the the stops hit this little peg here and when it goes uh, it'll rub on that stop so maybe if it rubs you can bend it down you can file it away a little bit but uh, but I wouldn't recommend too much of that so bend your cover back if you can if you can't see if you can find another one but just watch out for that okay another thing while, while we're right at this point you want to check and make sure that this shaft didn't slip. Um, that's your motor shaft goes all the way through and you should be able to to look at it and it's flat across the top. All right? If top of your camera, top of that shaft. If that turns sideways at all, uh, your your gimbal's going to go crazy when you start it up or it's just going to just bit 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 and not do anything right. So you got to just get a needle nose pliers and turn that once we get this plate off of here anyway. Alright, so pick it up gently, get it off all the pegs and then you'll see right up in here there's a little tab. Yeah, I like to use something small and sturdy and not sharp but flip that tab up and then there's another one on the the other ribbon. Uh, you can see it right up in here. Flip that one. Alright. And pull that ribbon cable out there. Pull that ribbon cable out there. Now we got our board off. Okay, so a little tabby. A little tabby. Alright. Okay, now we want to gently remove our ribbon cable we want to save. And this one somebody pulled loose already. They tried to bend this yarn back and it cracked. So mine's easy here. They're really not too bad. Yours would be easy too. Just not as easy as that was. Alright. We got these three screws to take out. At this point, this is a good time to get with your needle nose pliers and straighten that out if you need to. And if you, I think this shaft has a little bit of a taper to it. And if you push inward as you twist that, you're less likely to loosen it up more. If it is really loose, you should take it all the way apart and use some uh, red thread lock. I don't know where my red is, but I got blue here. But don't use the blue, it's softer. Use the red, that takes heat to get it apart usually, so make it permanent. Uh, I have a video for that, I will post that as well. Anybody knows me, I hate flies. So this fly here is just driving me nuts. I'm almost thinking of starting all over just to kill the little bastard. I live on a farm, it's a part of life. Okay, junk. Alright, so, set that aside for a second. Ooh. This is my movie, stay out of it. Okay, so these are the, the new screws that I send with. They're a little bit longer. They're, uh, they're a flathead, but it's what I could get at short notice, and uh, and I got a bunch of them, so I got to use them up. But uh, yeah, these 
three. Okay. And this is the the new design. I got the whole. These go all the way through. Just makes things easier. Um, the left a little bit more clearance on here so you can get in there and close the tab later. Um, I got rid of the standoffs in the back here. They they were causing a little bit of headaches for assembly mostly. Um, and I drilled drilled all the way through. So they, these will line up that cover. There's five screws in there. It'll line up fine. You don't need those for alignment anymore. And they don't need it to screw into because the screws are long enough. All right. So let's put this together. Now, oh, this is easier here too. Take your screws and put them all in first. Screws in. Now, carefully. Yeah, now just a little bit. Need that ribbon in there. When you're putting this on, make sure that these two stops are on either side of that part. There you go. That'll work much better. Alright. I'm going to go in on these just a little at a time. Don't screw them all the way in one at a time because you'll bend it and break it probably. Test for make sure it's not binding at any point in this process. If it is, yeah, might need to file away a little bit of plastic here and there, but yeah, it shouldn't. All right, uh, check to make sure motor's sitting flush all the way around. Make sure there was no debris that got caught in there in any way. All right, we have this. Tricky part. Don't stick this down just yet. Because this is it's gonna be a pain in the butt. I don't like this part. This ribbon cable or this this little ribbon on the motor is the worst one. So make sure both of your tabs are still flipped up. Alright, flip them that way first, just so you don't accidentally push too hard on them. But anyway, up, up, we're good. Ribbon cable, don't fold that over too much. There you go. Doesn't take much pressure at all to get that in there, should slide right in. Alright, we got that one in. Okay, that one in. If you want to look on the underside, there's a little white line on the the ribbon. Make sure it's straight. If it's not, if it's tilted just a little bit, then uh, not even with the connector, then you might be too far off, and it's going to short out in there. All right. I'm gonna pop this cover on. Or circuit board on. All right. It's all good. All good. All right not bent cover. Alright, I like to start with this middle one. Oh, a little 
that head. And apply a decent amount of inward pressure on these when you when you do it. That uh, that helps with that little standoff. They don't. If you don't do any inward pressure, you might twist off. And just be feeling for when your bottom is out. You don't want to. You don't have to crank in on these. They, they, they get, they bottom out and then they hold. They're the, with the thread lock on the screws already, they really grip that plastic. It's, uh, it's not gonna let them go. So they just need to be all the way in. They don't need to be tight. If that makes any sense. So pushing in when you turn, get close and just start feeling for it. Feeling for it. Yeah, a little side again. Check every once in a while, make sure it's not binding. You don't want to have to take it apart. Right, feeling for it. Good clearance here, good clearance on the the nub, I see we're good. All right. And then with these last two, you could still, if you have a bent cover, could still uh, cause that motor to bind, but far less likely after those three are in. Eventually these will be Phillips. I uh, I will use up my my stash of these and get some new ones. Alright. Okay, right, so at this point we can stick our ribbon cable back down. But we want to line up this corner up here first. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we want to get it right in the middle of both flats. So that looks good. That looks good sticking it down here. And there. All right, checking everything looks good. Now, I'm going to take our set screw and we want to run it in here and run it past, past where you're going to need it. And all the way in so you can see it in there. 
back it up. Alright. Now, we need our. Let's see here. Okay. Now, take your plate and. Pop that on. I like to take the bearing, put the bearing in here. And push it down and get it so the bearing is level with the top. Because that don't go all the way down, but just get it almost level with the top. Ooh, this battery's getting low. Alright, gotta work fast. Okay. Yeah, we're almost done anyway. Home stretch. All right, we got our ribbons poked in there, man. That's that's the easiest that's ever gone. All right, flip the levers down. All right, now, and then stick this here. Stick it back down. All right. Take your cover, slap it over the bearing. Mm -hmm. Wiggle it. Just to oh, make sure your ribbon cable should be poking up through that slot, too. Alright. Notch, notch, notch. They're all lined up. Alright. Get the two screws in there. Magnetic screwdrivers are useful. set screw here and just tighten it up just a little bit. All right. Oh, 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 oh. oh, good. Should be ready to rock and roll. I'll test this one out later, see if it works. But anyway, the arm worked. All right, have fun with that one.